Brought to you by a capsized street art. And, and they are out there on the Austin streets every Wednesday afternoon from like 4 to 6 p.m. on the drag, wherever you happen to see them. Go up to him and talk to him. Maybe you too could sing the Brady Bunch song. Actually, it'll be something different next time. Have any suggestions, guys? Uh, how about the, More the, the theme to Gilligan's Island? Oh, that's yeah. good. That is Ooh. a good one. Just sit yeah. right back. Yeah. You'll, You'll hear, hear a tale. tale. That's good. Only if the Dragnet tale. had lyrics. Yep. Dragnet. Dra it's an instrumental. <laughs> 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 but you could, like, hum it or something. Oh. You know, just do dun dun yeah. or something. I think is so. that lame? You think that's he needs the shot. There you go. <laughs> in case you just tuned in, you're watching Psycho Babble on TV with us this evening. And if you'd like to talk to them, the number is 472-CALL. But right now, we'll bug them a little while. So we've already established CD, hopefully, tape for sure, yeah. out sometime, hopefully, at the end of January. Yes. It should be very nice to you guys. And uh, one more time, we'll let you plug where you're playing soon. We're playing on, uh, is it Friday the 3rd? Friday, Friday the 3rd, at Charlie's Attic, yeah. and we're playing s uh, Saturday the 4th of December mm -hmm. uh, at Babes on 6th Street. And those are the two uh, closest upcoming gigs. We are playing yeah. uh, New Year's Eve at Charlie's. And Charlie's. And, uh, oh, really? So I got the New Year's Eve gig lined up. Yeah, that yeah. should be a lot of fun. Charlie's is a, Charlie's is a is real good. happening little club. Yeah. Real Have you ever been there? No. no. It's real, real laid back, real casual, but uh, a lot of people show up. 5420 yeah. Airport Boulevard. Yeah. No it's cover, no ever. Cover. No. Ever. That's yeah. good. Beer. Bring some one dollar bills. Though. Yeah. We can't say how and, much. And, and Charlie sings. Charlie does sing with the band. He yeah. comes hey. up and sings. What does he this sing? Guy, he's like Bad Moon Rising. It's like Frank Bad Moon Rising. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> what Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew. Mountain yeah. Dew. Um, the Mountain we're trying to get him to do Wild, wild Thing. thing. Yeah. Oh, we're we're gonna, see, we're gonna get him to do Wild I Thing. I want to get him to do Summertime though. We'll, we'll get him to do Summertime. Just like Stubbs up in the. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. But he's he's. He's very entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually probably like videotape of the New Year's Eve thing because I bet you get Chris to wear another funny hat. Yeah. He probably, probably would. <laughs> you get him to wear like uh, uh, a, a coonskin hat, man, like no, uh, Davy Crockett. One of those Three Amigos hats. Oh, there Jeez. you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cheesy, buddy, but. Hey, you know, I that's went to. Money you take them to like Bennigan's, because I, I went there on New Year's Eve, and they give you the hats and the whole works. Really? It's up, and it looks silly. I mean, Let's just go before free. the show. It was. It was <laughs> fun. We got noisemakers and. Be at Bennigan's on uh, December thirty-first. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. December thirty-first. Yeah, that's oh, well. New Year's Eve. Get there early. early. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to like oh, yeah. circle it on his calendar. No, so we he might we'll miss the gig. We go and pick him up. So it's a good thing. Because otherwise, <coughs> he'd lose his way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving him too much hell tonight, but God, it's fun. Yeah. 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 He's all right. Mind. I mean, he I'm the designated. He's the designated hitman. The hell oh. gutter. <laughs> so, what's the thing that you guys like best about being in a band together? What, what is the best thing about. I don't know, man. What makes it work? <laughs> what makes it work? <laughs> well, a, a good rhythm section. For right, one, right a, a good rhythm right section. Here. Yeah. Well, the rhythm section, and then a fantastic songwriter. He's he's really good, imaginative. Oh my God! If uh, you if you listen to the lyrics of this guy's songs, which you shouldn't, or which you'll you kill yourself, or you will kill yourself. Yeah. How many songs do we have about suicide? Most of them. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> slip a double suicide. And most of them double suicides. Yeah, most of them double suicides. Yeah. But uh, he's he's a good story writer. Yeah. He writes uh, besides what he does with the band. He writes lots of stories. And, about uh, suicide. Yeah. They're not all about suicide, but they tend well, to lead toward suicide. Anyway, as far as being in a band, uh, I guess yeah. what the, the cool thing about I it is love. that... He just cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> but you're talking about my problems. The thing is that uh, we're, we get a chance to play, which is what we do anyway, and we get to, to do it together since we're buddies. It's really kind of a cool experience. You get to... Uh, that's, I guess that's the only way you should describe it, really, mm -hmm. because it's not like you know the you know the bucks are rolling in. It's not like we're doing it for anything other than the fact that it's fun to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so you know that's that's what we do right now. And uh, it's it's just too much fun. It's not something you never want to stop, probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. Well, you put that qualifier in there. Well, just, just in, in case. Well, just in case I you know I get you know horribly burned or maybe crack my back or something or these guys get a little too rambunctious and something really terrible happens right. to me. 
Yeah. Well, do you think this this outfit as it is right now is probably closer than the other uh, incarnations, I should say, of the the bands under the different names and everything? Yeah, much much closer. Much closer. Much closer. Even with the pup over here. Oh, oh yeah, the pup the pup's got a lot of experience. Yeah. He's done a lot of. He's not a bad. He's been guy, in a lot right? of bands and. Uh, At nineteen, got a lot of bands on the belt, huh? Done some road work and so he's. You know, I always have to give the youngest one hell. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's my thing. I think well, it's Sinister I Grin was on, and they have a 17-year-old or something like that. Really? Yeah, uh, that was real fun. <laughs> I, was like, I, was gonna, I was like, they let you in the bar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played with some young cats, and we played at the back room, and they had to leave. This right. was when I lived in San Antonio. That's what he said. They had to leave right after the show mm -hmm. was over. That's what he said. And it kind of sucked. So have you played in, in other places, like, you know, outside of Austin? Wackies. Except for Del, Del Valley, which is close enough, but yeah. you know, just like wh like Dallas or Houston. Or San Antonio is good. San Antonio. Uh, yeah, they like rock and roll. They have wackies and, and exes in San Antonio. Yeah, that's it's a great town for rock and roll. It really is. San Antonio and, is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's really enjoyable out there. And What's the yeah. difference in the crowds between San Antonio and Austin? San Antonio is a lot heavier. Really? Much Music. heavier. Yeah. They they like it. Yeah, turned up to eleven. They, they like it do. turned up to the eleven. Yeah. Mystics and all that shit. <laughs> That's it's yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I guess uh, the the option is like Austin lets you relax a whole lot more in the oh, set. Yeah. I mean, we can go from you know one type of material to the to the other type. We can be as heavy as we want, and we can be as light and airy as we want. And everybody would probably end it the same way. Exactly. Yeah, you know, on the other hand, you know, this, this San Antonio is, is can get down to business. Yeah. And they want yeah. You to people rock. when you play out of town, a lot of people, a lot more people show up. Because Austin's spoiled. Yes. They're very, people yes, are very I spoiled. Agree. We've got so many good they don't, bands. Yeah, here. they don't show up, you know. Yeah. I mean, out of town, like Houston especially, everybody, you know, right. well, they live yeah. for live music. And yes. I agree. And I think that's a very good point. And I think yeah. people should get out more often. They should get out more. It's, it's, we it's would love it. But Austin's <laughs> still a great place to play. Yeah, see, I mean, you get that. My favorite. Throw away it. Yeah. Kind of yeah. It's Austin, man. Yeah. It's Austin. It goes without it off. Well, you know what? More phone calls. Great. Well, we know how you love them. We know how they love to talk to you. 472 call is the phone number for Psycho Babble, <laughs> right? Here. That was very cute. Thank you for I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even have to shock him for that. Yeah. That, we'll was a, that was a freebie. Go to our first phone call for the little break here. Hello, you're on Capsize. Yes, I was gonna ask you guys, uh, where do you guys get your news from? That's question number one. Oh man. Get our what? He calls suicide hotline. Suicide you know, hotline. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, our, most of our songs, uh, I would say all of our songs are, are story songs. And we'll sit around and uh, we get uh, stories come to mind. The people that we know, things that we've seen, and uh, try to describe them the best way we can, or at least in some way that other people are going to understand what we're talking about. And uh, that's the closest we can come to poetry. And uh, that's, just, what's that, uh, that's what we call lyrics. A, so. lot, of, a lot of it's uh, stuff that Cinco does to... Little, oh. No, not supposed no, to say no, no, no. <laughs> the. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to get you back for cutting me off. I know, I know, man. I know. It's like that. It's like that. But you know, these little trade-offs like this are probably there will be a there'll be a psychobabble song about about cutting each other off and you know getting into you know my my head. Bar fights, yeah. basically. Bar fights. Bar fights. Oh, like you bar would know fights. about that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bar, bar fights. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is he the rowdy uh, member of the group? No, 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 no. no, no. He's oh, okay. uh, nothing ever happened. Yeah. Nothing ever happened. Right. Right. Anyway. With that, we'll go on to another. It's in the X Files. God, you're on capsize, and this is Psycho Babble. Hello. Hey Dana, this is Lori from Wicked Gypsy. No, oh, thank God! Congratulations! Oh, yeah, congratulations! I haven't got your message. Hi, you guys. Hey. hey. How are you? Great. Hey. Cool. You're doing better. Yeah, well, it's like to hear it. What? Cool. So let's hear what happened, chick. Oh. <laughs> um. Well, it just happened, obviously, real recently. <laughs> well, uh, well, obviously, uh -huh. considering I was not called. Yeah, I mean, they have been going on for a couple of good months. Uh huh. You know, discussions and stuff, but you know. We're very known to not talk about anything until it actually happens. You know how this business is anyway. Except for, like, when you were going to release your tape. Oh, yeah. We thought maybe we should let that out. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you know, I looked at a videotape today where you were saying you would release it, oh, in, you know, February. Yeah. And when did it come out? September. September. So. <laughs> I think we saw one, too, that was um, back even almost a year before. We thought <laughs> it was out in a couple of months. It took us forever. But now, thank God, somebody else is going to maybe take up some of the tab on it, you know? So, how did this, how did you get in touch with these people? 
Well, there was a guy that we were working with here in Austin from a management company. Uh-huh. And we, didn't, we weren't exclusive with his company, but he was kind of helping us out. And he had sent some stuff out there, and we really uh-huh. didn't know about it. Oh, and then, uh, like, three or four months ago, he called and said, well, you know, some stuff is going on out there, and I'll just keep you updated. And it just kept increasing from there. Wow. And they're, it's, just, it's an independent label. Right. And they're not that big, but what's really cool is they're just going to do a good distribution for us. Cool. So, are, so uh, okay, when you say distribution, are you actually a part of the label now or not? Or yes. what? Yes. Yeah. So now you're like kind of officially signed sort of thing? Yes. Cool. Wow. But we, we kind of, there's still more I think we're learning through this whole thing. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> um, from what, everything we gather on it and what the whole deal is, is they're going to distribute it through California and Oregon. It's like a West Coast distribution. Oh, really? And they're going to take what we already did, you know, with the album Sativa. Right. And they're going to release a single out there. This is kind of a different part about it. They're going to release Peace of My Heart, which is, of course, like the Joplin cover oh, we do. Oh, no. Which is, you know, I mean, that's cool. But, of course, it's like all artists, you know, you want your stuff released. Right. Not somebody else's shit. Right. So that's the only kind of, you know, dis- disgruntled thing that we kind of bitch about. But at this point, we're not bitching too much. No, you're going to have to, like, teach Zach to keep things out of his nose and stuff. <laughs> Because he's got to learn how to act right now. Uh, probably not, though. No, probably. <laughs> that's the tape I was watching when he was sticking something up his nose. Oh, Do you not yeah, remember I that? I, re- I think I remember that one. That was yeah. a South by Southwest show. Okay, okay. Yeah, and Zach's just sitting there just hogging Stop, right in the cameras. Nose, like, yeah. you got you crazy, wicked gypsy people. Oh, my God. And am I right? Is this the two-year anniversary or what? No, you're right. Yeah, see, yeah. I knew it. I remembered. I know what a fucking way to, you know, get a two-year anniversary, too, to get some type of deal, something going. Cool. I mean, God, we all know how frustrating it is. Oh, I'm sure yeah. you guys feel it, too, right? Yeah. 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 It sucks sometimes. It sucks a lot of the time. Yeah, well, yeah. He's <laughs> Probably angry screws more. <laughs> now, did we, didn't we play with you guys? I heard you say yes. something like that. At the back room. Yeah. At the back room. Okay, I remember. That's what yeah, I thought. That was cool. You said that, and I'm like, dude, yeah, we did. <laughs> cool. Should have think about it for a second. Yeah, That's what cool. is with the Joe Rockhead? Joe Rock, I'm saying Joe Rockhead, Mr. Rocket, baby. See, there's all that rocket, rocket shit going rocket, on. Rocket, rocket. He was, mm-hmm. you see, the, the deal was we came on it, and he kept saying how much he hated that hat. Uh-huh. And then I said, you know, you look like a member of Mr. Rocket, baby, and yeah. everybody just started laughing. And so that's a little joke this evening, because <laughs> he just loves it so much, you can tell. He's I'm having a good time, Lori. Huh? I didn't know. I was saying, I'm just fucking with him. Well, it, that's the thing to do this evening. That's cool. Yeah, actually. Well, it's cow size. Yeah, of course. Do you want me to shock him? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. time for another, okay. you know. It's time for a shock. He's our laboratory <laughs> experiment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Over here. Go. Well, Lori, thanks anyway, for calling me. Watching yeah, I wanted to call because I, I got your message before, and I knew this is probably the best way I can get a hold of you. No doubt, girl. Yeah. Well, well, call me, like, you know, at home. Definitely. So, and call me, sweetie. <laughs> and, call uh, me, honey. And, you know, we'll <laughs> see you later. We'll talk. We'll do lunch. There we'll you do go. All that kind of stuff. And, and tell all the guys hello for me. I'll do it. Okay, thanks, Lori. Okay, see y'all. That was Bye. Lori, Wicked thanks. Gypsy. See ya. Congratulations. Yeah, cool. Finally. I'm so happy. I can say I knew him when. <laughs> I can cool. say I drank beers with him and had all kinds of just outrageous fun. Okay. And so when you guys get big, I can say the same thing. Sure. I can cool. say I know all these wonderful people. That's right. Yeah. God, you know, I'm just so cool. We'll, we'll go have some outrageous job. fun. We'll go ha- have let's go beer. have some outrageous fun now. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go. <laughs> but before we have outrageous fun, we have to go back to the phone calls. Okay. So let's. <laughs> okay. This is our moment now. <laughs> You're on capsize. Hello. Yeah, I got a question for the band. Go for it. Uh, I was wondering, what kind of advice would you give a band that's, you know, just starting out in Austin, trying to get into the scene, as far as, like, uh, should we cover, should we, you know, be writing our own no. stuff, what kind of yeah. advice you got there? Just wow. do whatever comes, you know, turn off your radios and just go in your garage and practice every day. Quit your jobs and just do it. No, well, 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 listen to this guy. All right. No, don't Remember quit your jobs. Remember, he's 19. No, um, let's see. And I'm, don't worry about, you know, what other people's advice I, in the early years you just got to go on what you you know instinct mm. yeah definitely practice your instruments a lot yeah. on your own uh, <laughs> rhythm sections jam together <laughs> live alone. together live together move in together if you're a rhythm well, section yeah, yeah we live next door to each Shut other in that's apartment. good enough that's great yeah and but, uh, hang out hang out at clubs yeah. yeah hanging out at clubs and meeting people going to talk to 
get to know other bands. Yeah. Uh, that really helps a lot. And then they'll want you to play on their gigs yep. with them. Right. That's right. And start to try and get uh, opening positions with other bands. Yeah. And that's that's basically where you start. Where do you uh, suggest we start getting like recordings done? Um, um, if you can, uh, I wouldn't spend too much money on it uh, when you first get started unless you have some really dynamite material already. Um, get yourself something to listen to, yeah, though. Get Go rent you a four track. Yeah, yeah that's what we're using a four track. It's got it's yeah. kind of some pretty good sound. So yeah, cool. that's what I'd do. That can do it. And can start uh, gigging. Home. See yeah. if you can get some good management. Yeah, yeah. get some good management. That's uh, like that's important. Got. They do a lot of a lot of leg work for you, yeah. and give you a lot more time to spend with your instrument and stuff. A lot of leg massages. <laughs> That'd be nice. I don't know where to look though. Uh, there's there's booking companies I think listed in. Uh, in the phone book and the Chronicle. Yeah, yeah the Chronicle. Definitely. Yeah. I'd, I'd go for something independent. That's know? true. If you have yeah. a, if you have a friend that Yeah, has some people that 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 use a good groups. friend. Right. You know, like you a, a very, very close friend of the band. Who's very stuff. charismatic. Yeah. And just watch out for the Granola Mafia. It's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the what? The uh, Granola Mafia. Uh, it's time Don't for ask. a shot. Don't ask. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anything else? No, that's about it. I really appreciate the advice. Well, no thanks problem. a lot for Good calling. Luck. Thanks right, for the thank call, you. man. Cool. We're going to take about three more phone calls before we kick y'all out of here. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so I don't want to go. Before oh. we go, have outrageous fun together. Okay. Oh, cool. It's premeditated outrageous fun. All right, let's go. Hey, you're on Capsize. Yeah, what's up? How you guys doing? Great, Great man. Right. Uh, first of all, I love your, your material, and uh, it's, really, it's, it's real cool. Thanks. And, thanks. Uh, thanks. <clears throat> I'm curious. <clears throat> Where you guys are? Uh, where you, are you guys from? Austin or? Yeah. Because I, I heard you mention San Antonio, and that's where I'm from. And I, I know exactly where Wacky is. Yeah, I'm. I'm from <laughs> San. Well, from Missouri, but I lived in San Antonio for forever. Yeah. So I'm not I, from Connecticut, guys. Mm -hmm. I like I'm it Connecticut, cold. Missouri. I'm wearing shorts. shorts. I like it cold, but hey. Yeah, I. Uh, I went to to Lee High School. No uh, way. Yeah. You know the quad? Who's that? The, the uh, yeah. Quad. I I used to date uh, Wendy. Are you kidding? Their older sister. I'm gonna say this. I dated one of the quads. I'm not gonna say which one. <laughs> How weird is that? That's wild. <laughs> that is All right, which one, Allison? No, I, I'm not saying. Okay, man. I can't that, say. That's cool. But was, uh, you can't tell the why. Well, did can't. you really date Wendy? What's that? Yeah. You, uh, well, Wendy I know her. Pro I mean, you know, because I was over at the house a lot. I know her. She's so cool. Yeah, she is. She's cool. a little different from the rest of them. But I don't know cool. what she's doing. I haven't seen her in in oh, years. Yeah. I I dated her when I was. Uh, a sophomore in high school? That is wild. I went to Clark. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's wild. That's crazy. Cool. <laughs> well, well, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's that's you guys have a uh, CD out right now? Uh, Are y'all coming out with one? Are y'all trying to get one together? The only thing that we have, uh, we're working with a, a, a video producer right now um, who's trying to put some stuff together for us. We have, we have a few clips here and there. Mm -hmm. um, but we're we're gonna be working on some other stuff, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. Coming up. Yeah, it'll be as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Was, was that? <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is. Was that that video earlier with the two girls up on stage? No, that was Screw. That was Screw. Okay, they're really weird. Yeah, yeah they're they're, 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 they're cool, a freak though. show. I, yeah, I was there cool, at man. the show. And they're cool boy. though. They're cool. I don't know yeah. about the chicks. They're a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were. They were a lot shorter. Then I, you know, they look real tall on stage. Well, they're on I walked by one of them and I went. Yeah, they're yeah. The, what's the deal with the, the guy's voice, the lead singer? Oh, it's uh, effects. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. running it through a lot of. Sounds like I mean I don't know. It's really it weird. It sounded like different. Demon. It sounded different there. Yeah, demon, that, buddy. That yeah. doesn't even demon. sound like demon. <laughs> demon, definitely. All right. I think definitely it's so. supposed to be because it was sympathy for the devil. Cool. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's it's appropriate. Yeah. Well, thanks cool. a lot for right. calling, man. Well, you guys can suck my dick. Bye. All right. Thank thanks, man. He's like, went. Whoop, see you. Bye. We got two more. Cool. Two more on Capsize for Psycho Babble. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Doing all right. Pretty good. Good. Hey, man. You guys, I don't know if I'm allowed to say on TV, but you guys fucking rock, man. Thanks. Hey. Love you guys. Thanks. thanks. Hey, uh, well, I guess I sort of want to ask you a question. Uh, I got a band named Warlock. Oh, yeah? And, uh, well, we play kind of the same music y'all do, and... Yeah, you know, sort of grunge, hardcore. Um, do you have any tips or suggestions where we should start playing and shit? Uh, back room? Yeah, room. Black yeah back room. Back room, Black I mean, uh, what kind of process do I need to go through to get, you know, who's, make who's some contact? Mark get Oliveira. Get a tape together. Mark uh, over at the back room is booking right now. Get him a tape. Yeah, get him a yeah. tape. <laughs> Talk to him. 
Really? Yeah. He's a cool guy. Uh, hey, um, is there any way you guys could help me out? Maybe I could get a number from you all or something. I could talk to you guys and get a little inside connection. Uh, what yeah. you might want to do is come and uh, uh, either leave it uh, on the machine or, uh -huh. or at uh, whoever's operating the phone uh, yeah, with call. cap size uh, on the info line, and uh, we'll have yeah. our manager take care of that if we can. And uh, yeah, just leave us some information, we'll and we can get in contact yeah. with you guys in the future. Uh, of course, you can always. You're welcome to come out and see us at any there's point. There's a too. there's a phone number that we had at the bottom of the screen. Um, 478 uh, 473 Yeah, that's it. That's and uh, that's our info line. Yeah. If you call that, leave your name and your number, and we can get in touch with Psychobabble, and they can their management can take care of all that. And okay, that is stuff. there a number I can, I can call about the rest? <laughs> what? What's that? I believe he was we being attacked. No. Uh, it's it's okay. Dog it was, bit him. It was a bug zapper. Out. I hope the not. Bug zapper. Yeah, just Ryan. call that number and uh, leave leave us your number. Right. We'll give you a call. Okay, we'll call. We'll give you a call. Yeah. Our our people will call your people. <laughs> you know, this is all, all it sounds like. We got one more phone call before we let Psycho Babble go home okay. and go to sleep because it's past Chris's bedtime. Thank it you. Is. <laughs> it is. Getting Chris, cranky. Chris, it's okay. <laughs> sleep on my shoulder, man. <laughs> Rock a bye and good night. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get over there. <laughs> You're on Capsize Live. Hello. Yeah, I would like to know how big is the biggest cock you <laughs> Man, <laughs> ask this guy. In use or frozen? In use or frozen. What a way to go out, guys. Um, Don't you love yeah, when that really. last caller yeah. just gets yes. in there and it's like, yes! It wouldn't, oh man, it's, yeah, yeah that's great. That's for sure. That's it's three. Right. It's definitely three thirty in the morning. It is three thirty. Yes. 30. yes. Uh, people yes, are looking. Love it, guys. Anyway, one more time, we want you guys to plug uh, the the place that you're playing soon, so that everybody can come out and see. This is Psycho Babble. Charlie's Attic. December third, Charlie's Attic, and that's fifty four twenty Airport Boulevard, and then December fourth, Babes on Sixth Street. All night. All night. Yeah. All night. All night. We're, Babes, we're just playing all and playing night. and playing. Right. Babes all night. Babes yeah. all night. That's Psycho right. Babble. So. Babes all night. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, Dana. Well, thank, thank you very much. much. It was thank very you. fun. Yeah. Thank you. It was. Chris is so emphatic down there. Yeah, thank you. Is. Thank He's you. He's ready to stop, stop the shock treatments and move on. <laughs> He's like buzzing now. He's kind of like, ah. And I just want to <laughs> thank Capsize again for letting me hang out this week. It was lots of fun. And uh, stay tuned for lots more videos in the next half hour. See ya.
If you could be any animal, what animal would you be? A hog. <laughs> How come? Because I'd eat everything up. <laughs> There'd be a dragonfly. Wow, you know, I don't know, man. They just, just through the air, you know. I think that's really cool. Snake. An amoeba. How come? It's just real simple. Just real plain and simple and no problems, no worries. A cat. How come? Because I get petted a lot. A racehorse. How come? Well, they're good looking and they're fast and they make a lot of money. I like to be the lion because the lion is the king of the jungle, my man. Come back to the dog. How come? Because they treat it better than any other buddy. Oh, I would be a cat. I like cats. I have three cats. <laughs> a giraffe. How come? I don't know. They're just weird and beautiful, I think. I'd be a monkey. How come? Because they're crazy. And I love to be crazy. So if I was a monkey, I could be crazy. A squirrel. Because nobody could find me. Something furry. Uh, squirrel, chipmunk, you know, something like that. A horse. <laughs> because, I don't know, because they're beautiful. I'd rather be a bird because they're free. And they don't get locked up. The Barton Springs Salamander. A bird. Free. <laughs> I think I would be a slime mold because slime molds are really kind of <laughs> cute, you know? They're really personable and they, uh, they're one of the b best pets you can get. They really don't require much care. They just <laughs> eat a little bit of transmission fluid every once in a while, you know, or something. It's all about the mud, man. <laughs> I've been hanging in the 
because we're going to turn out all the lights so that everybody can get high for a minute and nobody can get busted. <laughs>